Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CSOH plus HBr. We have cesium hydroxide and then this hydrobromic acid. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is our molecular equation, and I can see that it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we'll write the states for each substance, and that'll look like this. Cesium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so it's going to be aqueous. Hydrobromic acid, strong acid. In general, compounds with group 1 elements and compounds with the bromide ion here are soluble. So CSBr, cesium bromide, that's soluble. Water is a liquid. Once we know the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I see that I have a CS plus the cesium ion. That is a spectator ion. I have both reactants and products. We cross it out, spectator ion. Reactants, the bromide ion, again, in the products. So that's a spectator ion. We can cross that out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CSOH plus HBr. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for cesium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. You note charge is conserved. We have a one plus here, one minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. Products are neutral, so net charge of zero. If you count the atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for cesium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. Thanks for watching.